Welcome everyone. Today I'm going to teach you how to write a cookbook. On Amazon KDP, one of my best-selling book is a cookbook. Now, there are various types of cookbooks. I'm going to explain to you the process, the ones you really need, the best ones you can write. Either you want to sell it online on KDP or you want to sell in hardcover. I'm going to cover everything for you today from A to Z. But I'm requesting that you help me out by liking this video and sharing it to others so we all can make money online. Let's get straight into it. So go to Google and type chat GPT. Chat GPT. And then you will get into the open AI. So just open it up and then you can see sign up. You can sign up for chat GPT. Then from there, you're going to get into your dashboard. Your dashboard is going to look like something like this. Now I just told chat GPT, hello, how are you? And he says, I'm an AI model. I don't have feelings. <laughs> AIs don't have feelings. But what you're going to do is first, because you need to know the different types of cookbooks that are available. So you type on ChatGPT, list 20 types of cookbook I can write. And ChatGPT is going to list the different types for you. Now it is from these types that you are going to choose the exact one we want to make our recipe about. So out of the block, I like this grilling and BBQ cookbook. This is what I want to use. So I copy. You can use any one based on what your desire is or if you have done anything about keyword research you can just pick one based on what your keyword is recommending for you so i type again write for me a title for grilling and bbq you need a title now and then it's going to get you the best title boom here we go so i have a title all i have to do is copy this it will take us about 10 minutes then i go to microsoft word on your case, you might use Google Docs, whatever you know pleases you, you can use that. And then you put it up. And then when I put that up, I need to set this to my title. So if you look here, you see my title, and then you add it to centralization. Most time you still have to format whatever you are doing as well. I hope that is clear. And then the next thing now is for us to have a subtitle. So I go back to chat GPT, and instead of saying, write for me a title in this, I'm going to say, write for me a subtitle. ChatGPT is going to write this for me. Just like that, boom, I copy this. I told you this is incredible. This will not have plagiarism. Nothing is going to be free. You can sell it anywhere in the world. And then here again, I go again for my subtitle this way. And then I centralize it just like that. A book is brewing. So I just had a little bit of space. And now I need my name, Blessing Kola Wale. <laughs> and then I centralize this, boom. And then I make it italics, just like that. And that is my name. Now we are finished the title, subtitle. And now it's time for us to go deep into what we want to write about. The very first thing I do is the abstract of my book. So from here, I go straight to the abstract. I just type on enter, enter like that till I get to the next page. And if you notice, this is still in italic, so I have to tap on the indentation to make it back as usual. And then this is my abstract, right? This is my abstract page, and then I centralize that as well. Then I go back to chat GPT, just like that. And then I'm going to copy my title, which is this, the old title it gave to me. And then I'm going to say, write a 50 word abstract about, boom, the title. Click on enter, and then, ChatGPT is going to write that for you, which is the abstract, just 50 words. If you want it to do 100, I'll probably say write 100. I always do this to keep it solid and to just maintain status quo. I don't want it to just keep writing something voluminous. And then I copy and we have to go into the real depth of writing. When you write from an AI, that's an AI. I can guarantee to you that if you post as a book, you won't have issues. But sometimes you want to also convert your books to articles. You cannot just use AI like that. That means you have to prep it up a bit. So what do you do next is to go to this website. It's called quillboat.com. And this is a paraphraser where this website paraphrases for you. Now there is what we call the pro version and the free version, but I am using the premium version. I'm aware a lot of people struggle with how to buy things online if they live in Nigeria. I can show you how to get this in Naira. So I paste this. Let me go to this website. 247cashdollars.com this is my website where i sell all of the logins so just click on shop you can see shop here and then you can see here i sell grammarly uber suggest google canva everything i sell here 
you can just make your purchases on here okay so i go back to quillboard and now i have to quill my abstract i just click on simple just to give me a simple translation of what it is and that can do it for me and from here i click on copy now if you're like me and you want to be the doubting thomas you have to put whatever you have done from ai and take it back into an ai detector this might not be necessary but i'll tell you the ai detector you have to use it in before i finish this video so i copy these and i go back to my word and then i paste now you can see this is just pasting it all over the place but you want it to be spread well and you know it should make sense so you have to drop some of these stuffs like these you drop these out of it just so that it will be easy to read this is also known as word formatting and it makes you look extremely tidy that way like that and there we go but remember this is an abstract it has to be centralized so i copy and then go to centralize i click on that and then it makes it this way you see the little difference this is an abstract but this abstract needs to be headline one and I can make that centralized as well. Immediately I press it line one, you can see it has indented it and made it a title of here. So from here, I go now into introduction. So I just tap down, down, down like that till I get to the new page. And this new page will be my introduction. And while you do that as well, you have to tap headline one. As we continue in the production of this cookbook, you will discover that headline one headline two all of these are what's going to make your table of content you know the funniest thing is some people make table of content before they continue writing it's a flaw that's not how you do it you don't paint a house you have not built so you can't do the table of content unless you have finished everything you want to do after that then you can make your table of content it's just by free clicks very easy to do you don't have to type it out one by one or look at names a lot of people don't know how this is done but i'll show you everything as we proceed so from introduction now let's go back to chat gpt to write our introduction so all i do here is put this as well to center all your headlines must be centralized and then i type on chat gpt based on the number of words that you want write 300 words introduction about these which is the title 300 words so i put enter and it's going to write the introduction and all you just have to do is now copy you can read if you have enough time in your hand but then i just copy and then i go back to my keyboard where i can paste that and also paraphrase if you are just on the free version it will give you the smaller one and it will not really quill it it won't change most of the words so here i copy and go back here and then i can paste this is my introduction now just like i said you have to make sure your formatting is ideal okay now it's time for us to now go to what I call chapter one. Now, for these as well, this will be headline one, and then you put it on center like that, and then it's time to fill in our chapters. Now, there are two ways you can do this. For me, I'll teach you the two ways so you can use whichever one you want. Either you do it by yourself, which means you formulate these things by yourself, or you can as well do it using ChatGPT. Let me show you the chat GPT way, which is the lazy way. Then I'll show you the other one, which is my way that I use during this process. So I go to chat GPT again, and then I'm going to type, give me 15 chapters I can write on for this title. Remember, it's chat GPT. It already knows what you are saying before. So it's going to give you that 15 chapters. And boom, you can see it. It's telling me the exact chapter for each. I requested for 15 chapters because I know i will probably want to write a twenty-five thousand words on these and if i switch to my calculator and i put twenty-five thousand words and i divide that by 15 which i want to write about that's about 1600 words now i'm going to write about 1005 on each my introduction chapters and all of those will cover about 500 words my conclusion as well will carry something else so i probably have my twenty-five thousand words but when I'm requesting for ChatGPT to write, I'm going to specifically ask for it to write 1,500 words on each. So all I have to do here is just copy this way and then copy. And then I go back to my Microsoft Word and then I paste. Remember, I already have chapter one. So here I can just clean this up directly by changing the indentation. And then i can now set all of them on headline one remember they are all headline one 
and this is not how it's going to look like this is how ChatGPT gave to me but that's not what i want one is not written you have to use o n e in words and then you drop this down you see the way it is and then all of this which is chapter one goes to the center and you can see there is a space between these two the space is too much when you're writing a book you don't leave spaces like that so you have to go to the spacing and then you remove space by paragraph you see that it closes it up a little this is uh you know formatting technique and then you can do the same thing with all other chapters just like that let me just do that now if you are getting value for what i'm doing like this video and subscribe to the channel if you are yet to subscribe you don't want to miss all my wonderful trainings that really make money online not the bs that a lot of you know creators create and will make you nothing okay now i'm back and i am done with the chapters so from here it's now time for us to write on each but then before we start writing on each of these chapters i promised you i was going to tell you the way i do this by myself without using the artificial ai for my subtitles if you go to amazon.com and then you're going to change this all to books because that's what you want so i've changed it to books and then i'm going to type what my title is on here i want to know what is ranking for these keywords as much as what other people are covering that's why i'm here and then the ones i see on the front page that's what i'm going to write about let's say for example these i'm just going to open this book up and see what titles this person had written about and you should know when you are on paperback it can allow you see inside of the book so i'm going to click the paperback version so i can see inside of the book so you see here it says look inside so i click on it to look inside of this book and all I have to do is scroll and then I can see everything that is covered there. Look at the introduction. The heart of smoking grilling. I go back to my own and see basic of grilling. Okay, that's fair enough. This book about the history, the advanced techniques on beef, pork, chicken and all. I just check through it and see what it's done. And then I go back here to see what mine is talking about. Okay, now I think I've seen enough. It's not time to write. I go back here and go to chapter one. So I just come here, simply copy this, go back to chat GPT. And then I'm going to say, write extensively. Please, you have to check this prompt you are using. Write extensively and cover all areas of this topic. And then I put the topic with 1,600 words. Because I want you to specifically write that for me. And then I click on enter. Now it's as finished writing this. And all I have to do is I would copy... And I want to check if the number of word is correct to what I said. I go to this website, wordcounter.net, and then I type what is here. I just copy and paste what I have, uh, you know, done, and I can see the number of words. This is about 400 and something words. Now you can see, I gave it an instruction to write 1,600 words, and it practically wrote less than 500 words. How do you now make this to something that can get to the, to the amount of words? Two ways you can do this either you increase your chapters you know if you just add two more chapters 17 chapters it increases the word by 3000 or you go into each of the words that had been given to you and you expand on them if you notice what chat gpt said it just straight away just listed all of these things it didn't really do much it just listed so i can go into each one of them and then expand on this let me show you what i mean for example here it's telling me that setting up your grilling station is to choose a grill it just didn't say anything it just says choose a grill so now i'm going to pick this and then i'll say write me 200 words about how to choose a grill you see that and then i put on enter so let me go here copy the first one i go back to microsoft word under here and then i paste this is the first one so the way I'm going to brush this up and make it a book is what I'm trying to do now. Here, I'm going to do these here. And then now I'm in section one of these. Let me cancel this introduction. And then now this is the section one, which is the setting up of this. I make it at line two. And then choosing a grill is my headline three. Don't worry. When we get to the table of content, you see how all of this is going to form your table of content and it will make it easy for readers to read through to any section they enjoy so here i go back to chat gpt and i'm going to copy everything that i reading about how to choose a grill you see now all i do here is copy these which is choosing the right grill 
I go back to Quibot and then I paraphrase what I got newly and I'm going to copy that now. I told you when we finish, I'll show you where you can check overall everything you've done to see if it is AI generated or not for free. You won't have to pay. I'll, I'll tell you the website. So from here, I copy, go back here and then I paste. This is now what is going to form that part of my book and you can tell all of these capital letters you just have to do all of these because the ais will not do this for you we have now filled choosing the grill and then we are done with that now we go again to the second part of it and then we read because it's very important you read through it depends on how long you want this to be i could just go to grill maintenance as my second one so i go to second b which is grill maintenance just like that or I can dig deep into it now when you choose then i can say types of grills so this is also part of it and then i make this another headline too you see how this is done and then i can go deeper and pick each of these one and ask chat gpt to write on it and then i go again if you are choosing charcoal this is what it has to offer if you are choosing this now by the time i finish all of these i'm probably on four thousand words Ladies and gentlemen, I don't want to bore you by going through repetition. This is how you go through each of all your subtitles and then you fill them in one by one, reading through anyone that is not giving you what you want. You go back and trigger it with another prompt and then it gives you everything you desire. But then, not only the writing, there are a few things you still have to do. You need to check for plagiarism and also you have to check if it is AI. To check for plagiarism, you need a plagiarism checker to confirm if it is plagiarized or not. The common one that we all use is Grammarly. Now, on Grammarly, you can check everything plagiarism and even correct your sentences and correct your languages and all. And you can get the pro version because, you know, the free version is just whack. But you can get the pro version on my shop at 247cashdollars.com. You can see it here for a token fraction of what the original price is. But then I use my own Grammarly inside my Microsoft Word. If you see here, let me open my Grammarly for you to see. Boom, and you see that? It's gonna correct everything from beginning to the end. And I, without going through anything, I can just click on here and change whatever I have to change. You can see everything here, and then I correct it. If you really want to know how to use your Grammarly inside your Microsoft Word, just request from the comment, African Giant, Teach me how to use Grammarly inside my Microsoft Word. I'll send you the video immediately so you can also apply yours inside your Microsoft Word. So now, like I said, if you have corrected all the tenses and passiveness and whatever Grammarly is suggesting for you just like this, then it's time to check for plagiarism. The way you do it inside here, you can see it here, plagiarism is here. I can just toggle it on and as soon as I do that, it's going to start checking if everything I'd written is plagiarized or not. And the part that is plagiarized will be marked out for me so i can remove it that's the advantage of the pro this is saying there is no plagiarism you see that it's free of plagiarism if it had plagiarism you can see the parts that are plagiarized you see the way it's underlined it those are the areas that are plagiarized and that's how it's going to tell you and then you can now remove the plagiarism by copying each side and then you go back to quibble you can paste it there you reparaphrase it and the plagiarism will be gone but the main thing here is now to check for ai if it doesn't have ai and also i will tell you how to write recipes you know this is a cookbook most cookbooks will also have recipes but if you want me to teach you how to write the recipe please ask in the comment african jan teach me how to write cookbook recipes and i will teach you that but the ai detector that is free you can use is called content at scale.ai so that's it it will tell you if it is robotic or not let me just go over here copy what i have done right and then i go back to content at scale.ai and i paste and from there i can just check for ai content so it will predict and tell me the number of ones that are human and unhuman and this is pretty much strong you can see how robotic is your content it gave me 73 percent. that means it's pretty robotic so anything that is higher than 25 percent is heavily robotic so all of this you see the parts that are robotic there is picking it up you can remove this from ai absolutely but like i said i'll teach you that in another video the main success here is not just writing for free with ai on amazon kindle you need to know how to do what we call keyword research i can guarantee to you that is what really makes money on kindle the video to the keyword research is popping up now click on it and let's, let's go. go let's, let's go. go let's go